Uh, let's talk to uh, Kasia, who we spoke to yesterday. She is our correspondent who is on the border of Ukraine and Poland. I don't know if you're in the same place, Kasia, uh, but clearly many, many Ukrainians, particularly women and children, are still arriving. Good morning. It's, if you think about the numbers, it can feel overwhelming. Hundreds of thousands of people. We expect that up to half a million people will cross over into Poland, just into Poland from Ukraine. Now, bear in mind that these people are coming from into other countries as well. But let's just bring you down to the ground. We're in Przemysl. We've moved a little bit further uh, inland, so to speak. But we're still, these are buses that are still coming from the very border itself with people who are being moved along and just helped by the, the there's the fire brigade, police officers, volunteers just getting involved and helping people to come uh, to get off the buses, bearing in mind that these people will have spent days trying to get here. And these are the types of volunteers that are helping, and this is who they're helping. This woman has come from Lviv. This little girl is two years old, and I can't even begin to imagine what is going on in her mind. You've come from... Jak, um, how old is your little girl? Uh, two years old. What's her name? It's boy. It's oh, it's a little boy. I'm so sorry. It's a little Amir. Amir. How is how how are you? How are you doing? You've just arrived here. Just oh, arrived here. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. So this people people are just so upset. I can't keep stressing that. And this is what's happening. So this gentleman is now going to take Amir, two-year-old Amir, and his mum, and he's going to take her to the transport area just over there. You're going to go and you're going to try and work out what the next stage is of her journey. And just just tell us, because you've been, you've come, actually, he's come from Denmark. No, I've come from England. You've come from England. <laughs> I live in England, but I'm from Denmark. You're from Denmark, yeah. but you've come from England to help people like this. Why, why did you feel compelled to do this? Compassion. Compassion. I mean, you know, treat other people the way you want to be treated. So, sure. you know, whatever I can do, and, you know, all the suffering and all this is immense. You know, it's... Um, all these stories that we don't really hear about. You know, I've, I've been there since Saturday and um, not really seen much in the news about, you know, these stories, you know, yeah. and of ordinary people. Um, now you see, when I first arrived here, there was only a few tents. Um, and now it's like a little town um, with, you know, a pizza, pizzeria and, you know, and yesterday we went into the, to the shopping mall where people are sleeping on the floor and, and children are playing in a, in a bundle of, of toys. Um, and the suffering in, is just immense and it's so heartbreaking. But, you know, so I went over and we got some pizzas and I got a, another volunteer, po Polish volunteer, um, over to, to to hand out some pizza inside, you know, and bring a smile to, to the children and everything else. And they were playing at one o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. OK, well, listen, thank you for talking to us. And ultimately, it's, it's, it's the stories. It's, it's this woman, it's little Amir, that are now on the next leg of their journey. Um, they want to get to Holland. I can, I can tell you, if you ask me, yes. uh, I can tell you. Tell, tell uh, me. So do you, you uh, have family uh, in Holland? What's uh, the plan? Mm, I have nobody, uh, but I uh, want uh, to go to this country because my husband was uh, here and uh, he said it's a good country. He know uh, it uh, these people in this country and uh, uh, he sent me to go here. Uh, now uh, uh, he stay uh, in Ukraine. Uh, He's staying in Ukraine. Yes, he will fight. Okay. So you're now in Poland and he told you it's a good country to come to because you'll be looked after. And now you want to get to Holland, so the next part of your journey begins. Yes, yes, uh, because uh, I went to Holland uh, because uh, Poland is near yes. uh, to Lviv and uh, our house was bombed uh, from the year. It was terrible at, uh, and we uh, very... Uh, it, it was terrible. It was terrible. So you've lost your home. Amir's lost his home. Thank you for speaking to us. It's, it's again, it's 
stories like this we're hearing time and time again. If you think about the numbers of people coming, everybody has has fled. They've come to Poland. Poland has well opened its borders. It's welcoming everybody, every nationality who is coming from Ukraine, who is fleeing the fighting there, who have lost their homes there and is helping them on the next leg of their journey because we're hearing people want to get to either relatives already in Poland or to further afield like the, the mum we heard just there. And this is one snapshot yeah. across the country, this country that is helping all of these people just in the next steps on their journey. Kasia, thank you so much. Thank you. We will talk to you again in the next hour.